truth, that which is in accordance with fact or reality. But all we can see is a distorted version of the world, light filtered through inevitably imperfect lenses. How many people have to believe something before it's true? Just one. LAPD, don't move! Pseudologia Fantastica. You know what that means, Jake? It means you're a liar. A pathological one. It's not true! I'm not your shrink. All I need to know is what happened to Amanda Parkley. What? Two eyewitnesses placed you with her last night and she never made it home. Walk me through last night. I was eating dinner at Eddie's. The Italian place on 6th. I ran into some friends on my way out. Jake, my boy! Mr. Mayor! <laughs> Good to see you. You as well. But these are my associates. Franklin, Thomas, and Taylor. Pleased to meet you. Jake is going to be president someday. Oh, thank you, Alan. <laughs> Jake. Have you heard about Governor Ball? Yes, of course. Uh, his response was very tactful. Unlike many of his peers in the religious right, he's never felt the need to address his attackers directly. <laughs> Just a minute. Mayor Greensburg was at the fundraiser at St. Jude's. Oh, I'm sorry. Did, did I say Greensburg? I, I meant Greensman, the orthopedic surgeon. <laughs> Slightly limited range of motion. It has me wondering if maybe it's a minor separation at the trichatural and pisiform articulation. You're studying orthopedics? Oh, no, no. I, I'm just a big enthusiast. Especially with all the incredible work you and Dr. Koo have been doing with minimally invasive surgery and spinal segment regeneration. That's some wild stuff. What did I tell you about this kid? <laughs> oh, sorry, everyone. I, I have to take this, if you'll excuse me. Hello? The owner says you ate alone and left alone. <laughs> he must be mistaken. I, I was definitely with Dr. Greensman. Jake, I don't even care about that part of the night. Now you need to stop lying to me or things are going to go very bad for you. Now who is on the phone? My friend Sam. She wanted me to come to a bar. Hey, Jake! Hey, Mikey. How's your night? Good, good. Five seconds. Drinks on you. You seen Sam? Yeah, she's down at the end of the bar. You two, uh... <sighs> Not yet, Mikey. Keep after it. Thanks for coming out. What you drinking? Scotch. She's the one? Thought you might like her. One. Sorry, what? What does the one mean? Uh, <laughs> Sam's always trying to set me up. We've been friends since fourth grade. She cares about me, I guess. Do her quick. Don't be out all night. You know that feeling you get in your gut? Hi. When you know you were meant to meet someone. I got that last night. How'd she end up dead? 
After a couple more drinks, she got some text and started freaking out. I tried to calm her down. I have to go, he's gonna kill me. I never would have actually gone through with it, but now he's gonna kill me. Who was she talking about? Who was gonna kill her? She just kept saying, Royce, Royce, Royce. Hey, wait a minute. She I... said the name Royce, specifically. Yeah. She was really afraid he was going to find her. You cannot listen to this kid. You just said he's some pathological liar for Christ's sake. Let me handle this. This is very important. Did she say a first name? Um. Um. Did she say a first name? Yeah. Uh, Christopher. How does he know your name? Uh, you don't believe him, do you? Everything that that guy has told you today has been a lie. Just answer the question, Chris. How does he know your name? I don't know! Google! I'm gonna have to report this. Seriously. Seriously. You can't believe this kid. I don't have a choice. Did she say anything else? Um... Just that she couldn't go to the cops. She didn't say why, and then she ran out. You're free to go. Just don't leave town. Internal Affairs might have some questions. What'd you tell him?